Leo, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a little weekly reading for you for April 5th through April 11th. All right, so we're going to start off with what your intentions are towards somebody here. Um, if you don't have anybody in your life, uh, you can look at it as, in some way, intentions towards yourself, okay? All right, let's see what we have here. All right, so we have the dog. All right, so this is a loyal heart. So your intentions towards somebody is to be loyal, is to be loving. Beautiful energy to start off with. What else do we have? Wow, we have the sun. So the sun in tarot can mean Leo. So you might be dealing with a Leo. And Leo, you came up in Aries reading. So you might want to check that out if you're dealing with a, a, uh, an Aries. Um, this is happiness. This is pure happiness and bliss. And then we have a significant masculine. Okay, so this feels like very beautiful energy towards a masculine. And if you're a masculine, you have intentions for somebody to come towards you. Okay? If you're the feminine, it feels like your energy or you have intentions to possibly make a move on a particular masculine, possibly a masculine of your past, okay? Because this is the masculine of the past because of what direction he's looking in, but it could be any masculine ultimately, all right? So if you're a masculine, Okay, and you're waiting for somebody to come towards you. Um, you know, you're, you're expecting a lot, you know, from this person. Loyalty, happiness, bliss, um, which, you know, is what we all want, right? But you, if you're the masculine, you're sitting back and you're waiting for this. Okay? Um, I'm going to say it. It's not very masculine of you to do that, okay? But if you are the feminine, your, your fire energy, your Leo energy, all right, um, could be taking over in this situation and you're going after what you want, all right? All right, so let's see. What are you manifesting here? This is your intention. Let's see what you're manifesting and when I say manifesting, I'm really talking about how you're thinking about the situation. Because your thoughts are what you create in your life. All right, so let's see what we have. First card, most important. Okay, so we've got the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you, this has not happened yet. Seven of Pentacles is about what's next. So you are very much in the energy of figuring out what's next for you, what's right for you. You might be fantasizing about this. This might be something that you're very excited about. Uh, you might know that... Uh, that somebody is waiting for you, okay, which could be very exciting. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so first of all, you're thinking now is the right time. And you're also thinking that whoever this is, and you can tell by these cards, this person feels right. This person feels like who you are supposed to be with. This person brings out a level of happiness and joy in you that maybe other people have not. This person feels very special. So what else do we have here? Okay, so we have three of swords. Now, whoever this masculine is might have in some way have been heartbroken in the past because of something that didn't happen or you 
might have been heartbroken by this particular masculine, okay? Um, either way, you are thinking about it. This is counterproductive energy, okay? If you have this beautiful, loyal, happy energy towards this masculine, it's like it is, it is absolutely pointless to focus on past heartbreak because you're drawing heartbreak energy in for no reason because it feels like you're excited about something here. If this is simply a worry, you know, you're worried that you're going to be heartbroken because your heart is loyal to this person. This person might have hurt you in the past. Again, not for everybody, but this is counterproductive energy. This is good energy. What do we have here? All right, so we have eight of pentacles. All right, seven, eight of pentacles. It feels like you are planning. You are nesting. You might be, um, you know, you might be getting your house together. You might be, literally, I, you might be cleaning out your car. <laughs> you know, you might be changing the sheets. You might be getting ready. You're getting ready for somebody. You're getting ready to bring somebody into your life. Have them see your life. And you're trying to put your best effort your best foot forward with this person. That's weird that I got that stuff, but I feel like with having seven and eight in the in a row, I feel like you're putting in some effort. You might be preparing yourself. You might be getting your hair colored. You might be getting your nails done. I just feel like these are things that are you're doing in the physical world, preparing for this, because this feels very beautiful. This feels very positive. So it's like, why is this here? Why is that Three of Swords there? All right, lovers. Ooh. So we might really be preparing for something here. Something's going to go down between the two of you. So the lover's card of Gemini, this is about the connection, right? The connection is real. You feel in some way it's destined you know, this literally could be a situation where things move very quickly, very passionately. The attraction is overwhelming for some of you. And then what do we have here? All right, so we have the Knight of Swords. What I just say quickly, Knight of Swords is the quickest, fastest knight. All right, it feels like this, this masculine here sitting on his little perch with his rose, you know, I feel like he's aching to jump up and go get you. So what I said before, you know, with the masculine waiting here, there might be a reason for that. It almost feels like he wants to, you know, get in his car and drive towards you, hop on a plane, whatever. He feels antsy. He feels like he's you know, he's wanting this to come together. You know, the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers in the middle, this feels like a destined love type of situation that you have here that makes you extremely happy. So overall, your intentions feel like they line up with how you're thinking, which I love. I'm curious about these two cards here. All right, so we're going to look at the Seven of Pentacles, the Masculine up here. The Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords. All right, Seven of Pentacles. All right, so we've got, wow, we've got Four of Wands. So for some of you, this could be what you would consider a soul connection, maybe a twin connection for some of you, but this feels like either you're, when you see this person, there's going to be almost like an immediate foundation felt between the two of you and built between the two of you. This might be your first meeting. This might be, I don't know, it could be 
whatever meeting it is, it feels like it's significant and it feels like like a lot could be built on this on this meeting. And that's why I feel like you're putting in a lot of effort here as to how this plays out. Be careful that you don't carry too much expectation. Do what you do. Get yourself ready or whatever. But let it play the way it's going to play. Because uh, four, of, four of Wands... You're thinking long term with this person. You're thinking this this could be somebody that, you know, I could take the distance. That is my destiny, right? And three of Swords, we've got Seven of Swords. Okay. For some reason, okay, I don't feel like this is connected to this particular masculine. So that makes it hyper unproductive. Okay, so if you have experienced somebody cheating on you in the past, okay, which I feel like a lot of people have gone through that, don't carry this energy into this because this feels, lovers, the wheel of fortune, this is a fear that we don't want to bring in to this beautiful situation, okay? But for some of you that you're dealing with a masculine that has brought a third party into the situation in the past, then it makes sense that, you know, you're worried about being lied to. But it just doesn't make sense to me that you're feeling, you're thinking about Wheel of Fortune lovers, you're putting in all of this effort, you have a loyal heart, or you feel like you can have a loyal heart, and you're feeling over, overjoyed about this. So this just doesn't make sense. So what is it about this masculine? What do we have here? All right, so this is King of Pentacles. You might be dealing with an earth sign, okay? Specifically, maybe a Taurus. Um, but it could be Capricorn or, or a Virgo as well. So this particular masculine, I feel like, like I said before, it's like he wants to jump out of that chair. He wants to give to this. This is not somebody that you're going to have to, at least at this point, I don't feel like this is somebody that you're going to have to worry about trusting. So this, you know, t King of Pentacles is very trustworthy, very stable, very giving, and very happy to be around his queen. So... You know, if you have tendencies not to trust and you bring them into this, especially early on, it could go sideways very quickly because I feel like this person wants to trust in who he loves, especially if he is a Taurus, okay? That will be unacceptable. All right, so this Knight of Swords, look at that. Sun, that's you. That's what I said. You know, I feel like this particular masculine wants to run towards you, wants to be with you. All right? Or you might want to run towards, you might, I feel like, What's interesting here is your intention is to go towards this person, okay? And here, it's like what, you're, what you really dream about is this person coming towards you quickly, kind of taking you, lovers. That's what I feel like. The sun is, we've seen the sun twice here. There is all kinds of potential and beautiful energy here. There's joy here. That's the highest vibration. And that feels good. And for those of you that, you know, haven't experienced a truly joyful relationship, it, it it's like you you'll never look in another direction. That's what it feels like. This person with four of wands you might know that. You might intuitively feel that with this person. So let's 
absolutely get this energy out. Let's get one more card there. The Magician, exactly, exactly. You have the tools now, clearly you have the tools now. Whatever happened in the past, let's make it poof, you know? Abracadabra, poof. This energy, not necessary, okay? And not only that, the Magician is single. So if your person, for whatever reason, wasn't single in the past, if that was the issue, or if even if it's not this person and you're bringing the energy of another relationship in, a worry of another relationship that didn't work out, get rid of it. Poof. Get rid of it. All right? All right, so let's see. Let's get some oracle cards here. For Leo, if you're the masculine, you should absolutely listen to this energy and go towards that feminine yourself. Okay, just saying. That's nature. That's nature for the masculine to go after his feminine. Not wait on that chair. I don't like that masculine card. All right, what do we have here? Healing family issues. Your love, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So what this could be saying, immediately I go over here. You know, if you saw a marriage that wasn't great as you were growing up, or you saw a marriage go through divorce, or, you know, you saw something as you were growing up maybe around your parents that you know truly put you off of long-term relationships or love or marriage whatever it is it's like this connection might really be very healing for you because it feels really it just feels really positive it feels very happy like this person, I feel like they have their stuff together. Like this person is not bringing a lot of baggage, if any, to this connection. What do we have here? Focus on higher truths. I love it. And I feel like it's speaking to this situation here. You know, um, this is an opportunity for you to trust your, your higher intuition, your higher self. Because... All of this energy in the world, in the collective, around the things that people do to each other. I love seeing, you know, the dog here, the loyal heart. This feels like it could almost be like your ideal situation. It could be your ideal situation. As long as you stay aligned with your higher self and you don't get into the petty stuff that people do. And people do a lot of petty stuff that breaks down the trust. And it, it's, it's so not worth it. It's never worth it. It's never worth it to look at somebody's phone when they're not there. It's never worth it, you know, to... I don't know. It's never worth it to do a lot of the petty stuff. And, you know, I say that because I see a lot of it. And it's not productive. People could have much more loving, true loving connections because there's really solid trust there. You know, if somebody makes you feel safe, tell them that they make you feel safe. Tell them that you trust them. Because the more you do it, the more you get in the habit of doing that, the, the more the other person will deliver based on what your expectation is. If you expect them to be trustworthy, they're more likely to be trustworthy. You know, if you expect them to be on time, they're more likely, and, and you appreciate them when they are on time, or you, you know, whatever they do, appreciate it. Because they took the time and the effort and the care to do something to make you happy. That's when you appreciate somebody right then and there. 
okay? And for Leo, sometimes acknowledging certain things, like you have extremely high expectations, but do you equally appreciate? You might not have seen appreciation or trust in a marriage as you were growing up. Now we're being asked to focus on a higher truth, which means listening to our higher intuition, not always be questioning somebody. You know, you don't need to know somebody's full agenda for the day. You know, it's, it's have a great day, I'll see you at lunch, I'll see you at dinner, I'll meet you at the bar, I'll do whatever. And that's it. It's, un, it's, it's inconceivable to me what people do to kind of track their person. Like, there's just no way. There's no way that that builds a trusting connection. I don't know why I'm saying all of this to you, Leo, but there must be a reason. All right, so that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, you can definitely reach out to me. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right, thanks so much. Bye.